All right, guys, so this is something that I've been working on for the past couple of days. I went and picked up a treadmill because I've got a really cool project that I'm going to do with this. I'm going to make a belt grinder. Um, some of you, you know, may know about this if y'all have looked into what kind of things that you can do with a treadmill motor. Um, but my plans are to make a 2 inch by 72 inch uh, belt grinder out of this. I'm going to fab all that stuff up. But in order to make this work, what you need to do is you need to pull all the internals out, the motor, the main circuit board, and then you can purchase one of these little things right here. This is a pulse width modulator. Um, when you go through the treadmill, you might be lucky enough to find a voltage diagram as I have. Um, and basically, that pulse width modulator hooks up to this connection right here, which is this, and I just deleted most of the wires and kept the only ones that I needed, which are the voltage positive and negative, your ground and your pulse width modulator. So if you notice here on this panel, which is what this goes to, this comes from the main circuit board right here. This is the MC2100, which is this big one. That's really, that's the only one you need. You don't need this one anymore back here. And you keep your black, your black and white ground, your blue PWM, and your red 8 to 12 volt DC. So, this normal uh, wiring here has got your on and off reset switch that would be located at the bottom of the treadmill. Um, you hook all this up normal as it would be if it were on the treadmill the only thing that's different is that you just have this main board here and you have done a wire delete and hooked it up to this pulse width modulator which you can find on amazon um, i'll leave a link in the description down below it's only like 15 bucks it's not expensive at all and it's exactly what you need to run this so i'll show you that here and the cool thing about this is, is whenever you turn this off even if you unplug it after the belt grinder gets made. This will save the frequency and the rate at which you run it in. So all you have to do is hit the on button. So I'll turn it on, you can see it instantly powers up. And I'm gonna try and get this to focus here. So it's running at 10, uh, 20 hertz and it's at 10% output right now. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 35 that way you can see that it doesn't have to do a slow ramp like it does whenever you turn on a treadmill There's no delayed start. It starts it right up at a 20 Hertz signal 35% output Let's see All right output on and It started right up Sorry, let me get that in focus there. And it doesn't run super, super clean. So in this setup here, I wouldn't recommend uh, doing this exactly for like a lathe or something like that. But for a drill press or making a, a belt grinder, I believe that this would be really, really useful. And it's really easy as far as explaining how this all works out. Um, some of the other videos have to... You know, you kind of have to dig deep through these long-ass videos that these people make. Just make it easy. Make it simple. Um, this right here is all you need to get. So I'm going to go ahead and ramp this up to like 50. That's 53. And that's at 64. 72. That's at 80. And it's plenty fast. Let's sit here and turn it off. Yeah, it's off. So we'll let it wind down and then I'm going to turn it back on. You'll see that it starts right back up at 80%.
and we'll go from a standstill. So I'm going to hit the start button. So that's on. So I'm going to ramp right back up. So that's at 80%. Even if I go over here and I unplug it, you can see that it's off. All right, we'll plug it back in. Still have power going to it. Hit on. And ramp it right back up. So your pulse width. Go ahead, turn it off. So your pulse width modulator will save that information at which it was turned off or even disconnected. You don't have to mess with it. So if you still want to dial it down, all you got to do is change your little uh, your output here on your potentiometer, and you're good to go. And that's really all there is to it. Super simple. So yeah, no more little bench grinder to do do any shaving that I need to do because I can't stand how it bogs down and cuts out. This right here is going to do just what I need. So if you like the video, super easy to, to follow along. Click the like button down below, subscribe, and leave a comment.